How to add a live preview to your products on Shopify? The live preview is a feature that I really love. It allows your customers to see how their product will look before buying. This not only minimizes back and forth interaction with the customer, but also addresses their concerns, ultimately leading to increased sales. So let's first have a look at the product. So this is our product, which is a t-shirt. We have three options, uh, t-shirt color, select your design and upload your design. So I can change the t-shirt color over here and I can choose the designs. So the design will automatically appear over here. This is not uh, uh, many images. I, uh, this is not like I have used many images. This is the selected design and the t-shirt color. And also we have a feature uh, to upload your own design. So the customer can upload their own design over here. So it's uploading. It takes a few seconds, maybe two or three seconds. Now the customer can resize their design and place it wherever they want. This is a cool interactive feature. Now if the customer wants to put the image on uh, the exact middle, so they can and they don't have to uh, email you or call you to tell their preference, uh, preferences. So this is a great feature. Now let's see how to set this up. First install the live product options app from the Shopify app store. The link is in the description. And then let's move ahead to the Shopify admin. Now go to apps and go to live product options. Once you have completed the onboarding process, you will land on a homepage. I have already adjusted the settings, but if you are new, you can click on new product options. I'll directly click on edit and show you the settings. So there are three main settings, uh, which is the color swatch, image swatch and the upload option. So in the color swatches, you can choose the color and uh, write like uh, name the text or name the color over here like this. You can also include the price or you can also uh, do a price formula over here. So if you want to add a custom formula, you can do it over here. And you can also choose from a percentage or you just want to straight away cancel the amount. Also, you can add a, a different product from here. So you can select the product and make it uh, as a variant over here. So it's a cool feature. And in the advanced setting, you can uh, choose the swatches, size and color and how they look. This is the info button and this is the help button. The help comes under under the swatches and info button is it likes uh, it likes a tooltip so this is how the information looks so this is the color swatches now let's go to the image swatches so these are pretty much simple this is the exact pricing that i told you before you can do your custom formulas and add a product as a variant and also uh, cancel the amount or maybe give a discount in percentage or amount you can upload your Im images over here, like this. You can also upload from your device. And this is it for here. Also in the advanced setting, you can change the swatch shape, sizes. Uh, you can also make it multi-select if you want. Uh, also, I have made it toggle. So if the customer wants to deselect, they can. Uh, you can also make it required if you want. But for this scenario, we don't have to make it required. Now this is a very simple button, which is upload button. You just need to change the name and label. And in the type section, uh, choose the upload option. Same goes uh, for all these. If you want to change the type, you can change the type from here. There are different types of options from line, multi-line, uh, drop down, image switches, color switches, color picker, date picker, or upload option, uh, many more. There, it's, there are a lot of uh, options to choose from. Okay, so these are the settings for the options and I'll show you the options for the live preview. So if you want to uh, give the live preview as well, you just have to click on enable preview. And this, uh, these are, I'll show you the settings of all these uh, four. This is a default product. Uh, so you don't have to do much about it. You just, uh, it's a default. You can also delete it, but let it be. So, <clears throat> so this is the color swatch. So in the type section, I have uh, choose, uh, choose the overlay values in the layer and selected the above collection. Uh, above option so this is a very simple uh, technique i have used this image as an overlay and this t-shirt part is transparent so whenever i change the color of the t-shirt uh, i mean of 
the background image it automatically changes so this is one type uh, one trick to do it the other thing is just uh, create the same black image and paste it over here the white one uh, keeps let the white one be default and the black one you can make it as option and you can also uh, in the advanced setting you can change the box if you want to make it a little bit smaller but in this case we are not going to do it you can make it interactive and there are more features so let's go to design settings so uh, same uh, this is also same overlay values in the type section so this is uh, this is overlay values in the layer section and in the select option we have choose the select design which is this option so when I, whenever the customer clicks on the image it automatically appears over here so you can see the images over here uh, if you want to change the position you can also change the position go to advanced setting area and change the position you can also make it interactive for the customer but i don't I usually do it for the pre-selected designs you can also change the position and scale there are more different options to choose from so this is it for uh, the designs and the same goes with the upload layer but you just have to uh, select different type which is upload same goes with here you can choose the area for the customer so this is the area i have selected and uh, i want the customer to choose their own position so i'll select the interaction so interactive and you can also uh, change restrictive dimensions and make it resizable so the customer can resize their design or they can rotate the design whatever they prefer same uh, these are all the settings from position to scale so it's a lot more advanced setting and you can do a lot more not just the, not just this so this was the basic setting for the live preview and uh, this is a very uh, good feature safe preview image with order so if you click on this when the customer uh, check uh, so, so the customer select the design and click on checkout so the same preview will be available on the checkout section which is one of my favorite so this is a great feature over here so this is it for the live preview uh, please check out the other uh, options as well the other layers as well uh, like product uh, like the text layer so if you want an interactive text if you want the customers to add their own name on the t-shirt you can go to the product option select uh, i'll show you you can go to the product option click on add pro add option in the type section click on text and okay so okay so you can go to the product option click on add option and then click on text over here and then scroll down in the layer section click on add layer and in the type section uh, make it text so and in select option click on the option 4 which is text so whenever the customer types any text they can see it on here and you can also change the position like in the advance go to the box and you can change the position and you can also do some settings for how the text looks one of my favorite is text pattern so if you want to show the engraved pattern you can just uh, download a pat engraved pattern and just uh, upload the image over here and the exact text will be written on that particular style text shadow you can add a text shadow to it you can add a text stroke uh, there are more options like uh, text arc you can bend the text over here pretty more more options like this you can also uh, you can also offer text editor so the customer have option to choose font style align and color and size so this is it after doing all the settings for your live preview just click on enable and save so we are done with the live preview the live interactive preview so and i have used live product options app so check out the live product options on your shopify app store link is in the description it offers real-time custom product previews for your online store super easy to install and great for personalized item it's a game changer for any e-com site and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and see you in the next video